Hello and welcome, I'm Drakey, welcome to my channel. I'm in the British Army, currently serving in my seventh year. I don't know what works in the US Army compared to the British Army, but I'm going to have a look at this. US Army basic training in the making of a soldier, PT-1 reception. I'm guessing it's phase one basic training in the US Army, reception. I'm going to react to it, exactly what my opinions are on your reaction compared to ours, that type of stuff. Enjoy this little reaction video from a British Army serving soldier. Have you ever wondered what it's like to go through basic training today? So many improvements have been made recently to enhance the process of turning civilians into soldiers. That's why we are launching our exclusive series, The Making of a Soldier, to show you modern day warrior making. Kenya Mills takes us to Sand Hill for part making. one. Day one and the immersion into a whole new world. Let's go, guys. Get your freaking bag and let's freaking move. We ain't got all day. You have a cell phone, iPod, put them away now. Tuck in your shirt inside of your pants. You would throw all your food items away. You would get rid of all the items that's prohibited while you're in training. You refer to me as drill sergeant. Not drill sergeant, sir. Not sir, drill sergeant. Not even sir. Do you understand me? Yes, yeah, drill sergeant! And that's how the adventure begins. These men... So straight away, guys, when I started basic training and was at reception in basic training, you know, in the British Army, I never got asked to put my sweets in the bin and I never got asked to put my drink in the bin. Uh, we did get asked to put our phones on silent and that's about it. As for a drill sergeant, yes, we have got drill sergeants in the British Army. Completely different compared to the US Army. Every time I watch something from the US Army or Marines, they got drill sergeants and all they do is shout and bollock and God knows what they do. I don't know why they've got drill sergeants that constantly are shouting. Uh, my understanding is from talking to a US Marine once it's to put pressure on new recruits and, you know, don't make them comfortable, that type of stuff. They're constantly on the edge in that. Well, that's just what my mate told me was in the US Marines or was in the US Marines. Where so it's, it's a little bit more relaxed for the first couple of weeks until we get to know our training team and then it's full on. Listed in the US Army and today they arrive at Fort Benning, Georgia. Let's go. This is not basic training yet. It's the 30th AG Reception Battalion. Put the stuff in the bag and then go. It's like going to a very busy airport for the first time. Because you're trying certainly to find is. where you're supposed to be going. You're standing in line. You're confused. You don't know what's where. Did you get a lunch bag? It's here at reception where the process of turning civilians into soldiers begins. With a series of instructions for every given task. Put everything inside that duffel bag. More army, please. From taking an official photo. One, two, and three. PC off, please. With no smell, mm. okay? To creating One, an ID two. card. Okay, I'd like for you to place your right index finger here for me, please. Ball, you put on the floor. Raise your heel up. To trying on new boots. Yeah, so looking at that, you guys get straight away kit issued to you in the US Army, where it's also basic training. All we get for the first three to four days until we get our uniform issued, we get a tracksuit. I don't know if it's the same thing in the US Army. For the, you know, on the day one when you arrive there, you're in a massive queue in the British Army, and that's where you get your sizing done. For your uniform and everything else you get issued including your boots uh, you try on different boots which are the most comfortable for you and then they take all down the sizes i'm guessing it's the same thing for you guys i don't know but please leave it in the comment section and let me know because i'm really interested in that type of stuff i want to see the difference between the u.s army and the british army uh, for that guy taking his photo those type of photos we don't get taken in the British Army. I didn't get one taken until I got to my first regiment. After basic training, we had that, them photos taken. Uh, we did get a photo taken for our military IDs, like you guys on this video, but that's about it. So have a seat sideways, just like these other soldiers are sitting, and inventory your stuff. You have to follow instructions because there's so many people that come through here all the time. And so you just have to move, 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 move. And sometimes half the crew do, do not know what they're supposed to be doing because there's so many things going on at one time, you get confused really. It happens in a rapid motion until it's time to eat. It would seem like the line never moves. Right, move up, move For up. some, waiting Next. in endless lines is a lesson in patience. 
I was expecting to get in, get all my stuff, and go straight. Right, in. one thing I've noticed straight away there, you know, I see everyone walking about with Camelback, take water on board all the time, you know, stay hydrated, that good stuff. In the British Army, in basic training, we don't get fancy Camelbacks like that. We get a little black bottle with a belt, and we carry our water bottle inside our belt at all times. You see, it can start working. I came here, I said, I wait, and I'm waiting still. Here they also make a stop at the barber shop. Barber shop. There's no such thing. Valley, yes, you hair. call it. It's too cheap to get a haircut before. I... Yeah, you call it a haircut in a barber or whatever, your know, hairdressers. It's bollocks, guys. Um, you go there for two reasons. One, everyone gets a hair shaving because of hygiene reasons, you know, and secondly, Everyone is equal, so therefore you start equal, if that makes sense. But yeah, no, you know, them barbers, they're not like proper barbers. All they're there for is to shave your head off, and that is it. You know what I mean? Save some money on shampoo. Before I looked hot, I oh uh, actually had, <laughs> <laughs> I had hair. Um, <laughs> I had hair... Uh, Look at that geezer in the back, proper creaming himself, you know, because that guy said, oh, yeah, you know, before this, I was really good looking and that, before I had a shaved head in some uh, dog bollocks glasses. Uh, but, yeah, them glasses are horrible. In the British Army, for the people, you know, uh, we get that same stuff issued as you guys. You get them non-destructive um, glasses. They look absolutely shit. But, yeah. I looked good, and now all of a sudden I have no hair and glasses, so it's uh, definitely a change. One, two, about the same. Speaking of glasses, it's at reception where recruits get a prescription for BCGs, which stands for... <laughs> the, the troops call them birth control glasses. They're not real fashionable like that. I definitely cannot wait for those, and apparently they're indestructible, so I can step on them not have to worry. There's also a series of medical screenings. All right, perfect like that. And for those who arrive with a fear of needles, in this line, they'll find a cure. I've been to the doctor very seldom. And yeah, it's same for us, basic training, you know, um, reception, you've got another medical, you get lots of injections, uh, same for us. Other than that, I've not had this many shots in Within five days, I've got like six shots. Let's go, let's go. Cover down, cover down, cover down. There's even a formation and procedure for buying hygiene products and other supplies. Yes, sir. You need to get toothpaste, then the floss, toothbrush, shampoo. That soap. was actually kind of strange because we had to all stand in line and then we had to be ordered what we were allowed to buy and what we were allowed not to buy. Everybody turn around. Yeah, I feel babied. Like I can't do anything. Like I just feel like. These are my parents telling me what to do. Great. Suck it up, buttercup. That's an uh, army for you. Um, you get treated like a little child at the beginning, especially when you're in basic training. It's like that for everyone, and I'm guessing it's like that for everyone across the entire world. Everyone who's got an, an army like the British Army, US Army, you know, the Bundeswehr in Germany, everyone is the same. You get treated like a child, and that's just the way it is. got to deal with that. Uh, until later on, when it's a little bit further down the line, they've got a little bit more trust in you, you know, and then especially near the end. There's socks, baby wipes. A lot of the time they got you on the run, so you don't really have time to do what you got to do in the latrine, like shower and everything. So uh, baby wipes just gives you a nice quick cleanup, <laughs> and then you can keep it moving from there. But despite the endless lines and demands, they can all agree they have each other to get through it all. Uh, yes, it is a lot of instruction, but you know, if you have that's where you have your battle buddy, and your people, and your friends. Because if you didn't get an instruction, they'll tell you. That's the best part because you meet people from the different walks of life, and they tell you their story. You tell them your story. Y'all become friends. Things are going good, and when we get the basic. We'll probably never see these guys again, but we'll be friends forever. There's some that are yeah. real good guys that. I agree with that. Um, you know, during basic training, you make some great friends. Um, obviously, it's a lot of people that don't know each other all get thrown into the same, you know, situation. Um, some people you get on with and some people you don't. Uh, the way it is, though, with them people you get on, you stay in touch. The people you didn't get, in, you know, you know, you didn't get on with in basic training, um, you don't stay in touch with them, as simple as that. It's like any civilian job as well. 
if you you always get a few people you don't get on with, it's just you know you got to deal with that. I'd fight side by side with any day. Go back in that line, right. man. Right, I don't. Right, let me stop that. I hate that. I hate that when someone, you know, who's been in the army for two minutes, he's only just been issued his bloody boots, and then he's talking about yeah, I'll run into battle with everyone and anyone. You know, people need to stop. You know, talking shit. Get down to the real world. Should I say? Uh, that's just the way it is. Um, I know that the Americans, you guys call these boots, uh, you know, all the new recruits are boots, which I find quite funny. Whereas in the British Army, all the new recruits are called crows. Yes, C-R-O-W-S, crows, a uh, ca casualty replacement of war. And you can call reception the line ride for the adventure ahead. We're already here. This is quite the adventure already. Kenya Mills, for this guy giving it the big licks, but I think that is it. Fort Benning City, it's called. I'm guessing that's where the British Army does their basic training. Uh, I'd love to go visit that place one day, but I doubt I'll get in. Uh, I could try one day, but yeah, I'd love to go over to America and have a look what they get up to. You know, I'm really interested in that type of stuff. I know the US Army, I've worked with them many times. I've been in, uh, I'm not sure if you're aware of it, in, in Germany. Uh, near Bavaria, you've got a massive US camp called Grafenware. Uh, when I was based in Germany, I conducted a couple of exercises and support exercises in Grafenware. In that camp, it's the best camp I've ever been on. You sell Mustangs there, you've got a petrol station, you've got a bowling alley, you've got a shopping centre. The shopping centre in Grafenware is absolutely mint, meaning it's really good. I really really enjoy working with the Americans. Uh, they don't understand my kind of banter. For the people that don't know what banter is, it's having a joke, whereas that American thought I was taking the piss out of him, but I was just having banter. Um, yeah, we've got a different sense of humour in the British Army compared to the US Army, for sure. Um, I've also worked on the NATO exercise in Spain in 2015, I think it was, uh, with the US Army. They had also the airborne out there. And I got to talk to a fair few of you. Uh, it's really good to make American friends, you know, um, across the pond. Really enjoy that. But yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed this little um, reaction video to the US Army. I really enjoyed it. Usually I don't do this type of stuff. My type of stuff is show people what life's like in the British Army and vlog my day-to-day -day life around the British Army whilst giving informative, you know, info in regards to British Army for people in Britain looking to join the British Army. That's what my channel is all about, really. But I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more uh, reaction videos and reviews, guys. Uh, so, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.